Hi guys, it's been quite a while since I last posted uh, another vlog. But now we're here in Old McDonald's farm and we're going to be looking at some of the animals like cows and donkeys. And we're also going to be going on some of the rides. So come on, let's go. To start off our day at the farm, we went to the petting area where there were animals such as goats, sheep and ponies. Not long after, we went to see the ducks, geese and more goats that were chilling out on a wooden obstacle course made just for them. We then went to see some tortoises which I thought were both fascinating and admirable. Right next to them was the Asian small clawed otter. This otter subspecies lives across the landscapes of South and Southeast Asia, which I could tell straight away as its habitat was themed like something you would see at a Buddhist temple as there was a Buddha statue with two ferocious looking Chinese lion statues. Just opposite the otter enclosure was the meerkat habitat. Meerkat are small mongooses that can be found in southern Africa. They are well known for their habit of standing up on their hind legs most of the time when they are feeling threatened. However, these meerkats in particular were curious of us and the other people who are watching them. We carried on our trip around the farm and on the way we also saw a bunch of chickens and sheep. Some of the sheep were grazing on the grass, whilst the others chilled under the shade of one of the larger shed's roofs. Nearby were two red deers. No, I'm being serious, that's their name! Anyways, this species lives in Europe and Western Asia. I'm currently going for a maze, and yeah, I'm just gonna show you how it goes. <laughs> The maze was rather easy and we've successfully completed it within a matter of minutes. We then went to look at some of the Berkshire boars that they had. In simpler terms, we went to look at the pigs nearby. Soon after we met some alpacas. Alpacas are mammals that come from South America and although they're closely related to them, they are often mistaken to be llamas. However, they're actually smaller than llamas. We had a small break afterwards where we hung around with the sand play. We then went on a tractor ride which my younger cousin seemed to enjoy as there were many vibrantly painted animal statues that looked mostly cartoonish.
Not long afterwards, I went on a ride where the barn would start spinning as we gradually ascended into the air. I particularly enjoyed this ride as it was better suited for my age group and I thought of it as an adrenaline ride. We felt a bit peckish, so we bought some freshly made sugar donuts, which taste absolutely delicious. I then went on a train ride around the farm with my family on one carriage and my other relatives on the next carriage. I liked this ride because there was a mix of cartoon styled animal statues along with the sheep that we saw earlier on. There was even a small bridge that reminded me of the Golden Gate Bridge in the USA. The last ride we went on was a roller coaster. Me, Darren, Nilevan and one of my cousins Nila went on the same ride twice. The first time we went on the ride, we were in the middle carriage. We still enjoyed it, but we decided to take it one step further. So we went to the back for the second time. This time it was so much scarier and I enjoyed it much better than the last ride. Finally, we went to see the rabbits that they had, and coincidentally, this happened. What is called Rupert? I'm going to show the black one. Yeah! Mean. But anyways, we carried on looking at the rest of the rabbits and saw a rabbit that was double the size of the other ones. We also saw a bunch of hamsters which looked really adorable and extremely fluffy. We just finished our tour around the farm and I really liked it, especially because there was a lot of rides that like people would make. And also because it was not just like farm animals, there was also other animals like otters and everything, like meerkats as well over there. But anyways, thank you for watching this brand new video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another one. Bye!